Hey, what up guys, Furiousstick857 here, and um, today I'm bringing you a little bit of kill confirmed on the map downturn with the ACR, um, Lightweight, Quick Draw Pro, and Stalker Pro, and um, yeah, but I guess you could call me <laughs> Furious, uh, Serious Letdown857, um, because I didn't post a video that I promised you guys, um, in the comments, you can go and read it, um, I said I'm releasing a video tomorrow, blah blah blah, but... It's not my fault, <laughs> because my computer was mucking up again, well not actually again, like for the first time ever, like in this YouTube thing, so basically, I was really annoyed because I did say that I'd be releasing that video, um, you know, for you guys, but, so I feel kind of bad about that, but I hope you guys will forgive me, I mean, I hope I haven't lost any subscribers because of this, or, you know, anything like that, I just hope it's not uh, too serious, I hope it's not, you know, just just forgive me guys, that's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so in this video I was meant to be releasing about a week ago, um, not my fault, my computer, um, it was like, it was like right at the end of uploading, it has this little like bar, it tells you how much uploaded it is, and um, it just pretty much, my computer just stopped there, it just stopped completely, when it was just on the edge of uploading, and um, yeah, I was pissed off, and um, yeah, I know you guys probably were as well, it's not that bad, I mean, the video is here now, hopefully, if it does actually upload. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be talking a bit about, um, just a bit about, you know, how to improve in Modern Warfare 3, because some people have been having, uh, problems with the game, and, um, you know, haven't really been enjoying it, so, what can you do to improve? Well, for starters, um, sensitivity, really, is one of the main things, um, and, trust me, guys, the lower you can have your sensitivity, I mean, the better, I mean, you don't want to have, like, one or whatever, but if you can have it, like, I don't know, below four, then that's really good. Um, and believe me, I do know this because coming from COD 4, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, um, you know, World at War, I used to use 10 sensitivity. <laughs> I'm not actually joking, um, except, you know, till the end of Black Ops when I started uh, making YouTube videos. Um, but believe me now, guys, it's much easier to, you know, control, to, to play with a lower sensitivity. I mean, I used to think, you know, what you guys probably think who, well, not you guys, because I'm not talking to, you know, everyone, I'm just talking to the people, you know, who need to know this. So, if you're already, a, you know, a good player, just don't, you know, worry about what I'm saying. <laughs> you can just watch the, uh, the gameplay. But yeah, if you're not, you know, so good as a, of a player and you already, you know, need to know how to improve, um, use a low sensitivity if you're not already. I mean, if you're already using a low sensitivity and constantly doing bad with it, well, not completely low, just medium. Two is two to three to four is pretty good. One is just ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah, you don't really want to go over seven. You know, when you're using, you know, just an, an automatic gun, really, and especially with a uh, single shot or three burst gun, you definitely want to use two to three. Um, you know, four if you want to. But believe me, it does feel really slow at first. I mean, that happened to me, you know. I, I, you want to do it slowly. You want to start, say, if you're using 10. Um, because, I, you know, I used to think 10 was the best. I could, you know, quickly turn around. I could quickly jump around. If someone was behind me, I can spin around and kill them. <laughs> That's what I used to think. Um, but, yeah, trust me, it's much better on low sensitivity. And you don't have to just turn it straight down to, like, 4, 3, 2. What I'd recommend is just every game, just, you know, slowly going down and down. And you'll find that your aim gets better and, you know, you'll be able to kill more people, um, you know, which is definitely <laughs> the aim of the game. And um, this bit in the gameplay, I'm sorry, I go on a bit of a death streak. <laughs> um, but they'll turn out to be my only deaths in the game, so don't worry about that. It's only seven um, deaths in the whole game. Um, but, yes, yeah, so we pretty much need to turn on your sensitivity if you haven't already. If you're already playing badly on a low sensitivity, then maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you need to turn the sensitivity up a bit. Or maybe you're just not you know, meant to play COD, really, maybe you're just never going to be good at it, you're going to be left behind, I'm, I'm joking, <laughs> you know, you, no matter how bad you are at Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty, any, any COD in general, you know, you can always get good at it, and you know, it, in this gameplay, you know, even you see that, you know, a good game can always turn around, you know, you know, I, I didn't think halfway through this game, I was, I didn't think, you know, it was going to turn into a, you know, a YouTube worthy game, but it did, so, you know, you just got to, Believe in yourself now, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, that is actually true. You just gotta believe that you can be a good player. And um, yeah, as far as kill streaks go, if you're you know not that good at um, you know staying alive for a long time, getting your high streaks, but you still wanna have fun, that's why the support um, strike package has been introduced into a game. 
Um, it is really good, you know, if you know, you can just run around, it doesn't matter about dying. Um, and you know, there are a few good ones in there that, you know, can get you kills. So, the Stealth Bomber, um, Juggernaut, whatever, um, uh, the Exploding Care Package, like the Sentry Gun, um, Sam Turret can get you, like, things towards your point streak. <laughs> um, and yeah, but you know, some people just, you know, really want to use the support, the assault kill streaks, but they find they have a hard time getting them. So what I'd recommend doing is using hardline. Definitely don't really use quick draw on an assault rifle. Um, despite that you see me doing it in this gameplay, I was playing a more rushy um, role, which the ACR is kind of suited to in some ways. Um, and you know, you can do that with an assault rifle sometimes, but this is just an exception. So most of the time I don't use this, I use hardline. Um, and I never use assassin really, you don't need it, I mean, oh, well, I don't really find that I need it. You know, it, it definitely will help you out, but you know, in the long run, hardline can help you get to your kill streaks quicker. And um, yeah, but you know, if you're not using hardline, then that's fine, just get used to getting the kill streaks. And then, you know, when you feel ready, then, you know, switch it up, because, you know, especially if you're a new player and, you know, you want to start getting those good kill streaks, you want to start being doing well, I'd recommend Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter, and one of the nine kill streaks. So, Overwatch, um, you know, Reaper, whatever. I don't really like the Reaper, but, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Strafe Run's probably the best one. Um, and, you know, they're all two kills away from each other, so you can get this pretty easily. And, um, yeah, as far as the weapons go, you know, you can pretty much use whatever the hell you want, just as long as you're doing well with it. I mean, if you're constantly doing badly using one weapon, then you're going to want to try out something new. Um, say you're using the M4A1 red dot sight, you know, that is a pretty weak weapon. However, it is very easy to use and, you know, low recoil, uh, low damage, but, you know, fairly good all-round weapon. I mean, it's not going to make you any worse of a player. Um... And, you know, that is definitely my most comfortable gun. I'm really comfortable with the uh, the M4. But yeah, it really depends on what you're sort of comfortable with. And, um, yeah, just experiment with different guns and find one that you like. And, um, yeah, so the video is kind of coming down to a close now. If I haven't, like, covered everything or if I've, uh, you know, just, you know, failed at uh, giving you guys these tips, um, you know, if I haven't covered everything, then just tell me in the comments and I'll happily make an extension to this video. Um, just tell me what else you need to you need to know, and um, yeah, I'll pretty much cover it. But anyway, hope this little tutorial guide thing um, has helped. Um, I know it's a bit annoying for you guys who don't really need to know. <laughs> um, but you know, if you are a bad player, you can always get better. Don't feel like you're the only one who's bad because everyone else, uh, you know, everyone's a bad player at times. But yeah, don't worry about your KD. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I've got more videos coming up probably tomorrow, but um, I say that, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys, um, and uh, peace out.